One of my favorites, it's one of our favorites, um, Chocolate Factory Shiraz. You'll see why in a second. I guess the big thing that you'll see with all our wines is it's about fruit definition and expression of what we're really growing out in that vineyard. It's not a lot of winemaking artifact. I don't use a lot of wood. Um, everybody can buy the same barrels. To me, that's like salt and pepper that help round out a wine, give a little texture and depth and some complexity. But it's really trying to actually get that preeminent characteristic out of the ground. So big thing with McLaren Vale, when you actually put it in your nose, you, know, you get this real brambly black cherry. It's got little hints of mocha to the nose. Yeah, I can get that. Mm. But very fruit forward. Like, yeah. Out of all the Shiraz that we do, this is one of our top two. Um, Lake Doctor is one of my favorites. That's where we started in Langhorn Creek. But this is where our roots are. This is where we belong. You want to get a bit of air in your mouth. It helps open up some of the flavor compounds. But it's that, the whole thing for me, the reason with the name is that milk chocolate. Very good. Oh, I did it. Yeah, you got that sipping bit. Slowly learning. But for me, like, Chocolate Factory is that lovely, it's, it's black forest cake in your gob. That's how I, my three word line when it always comes to this wine, it's that black forest cake. So black cherries and it's got a bit of plums. It. Yeah. Yeah. So what would you recommend to eat with this? This is a session Shiraz for me. It is on its own a sipping Shiraz. It's soft, okay. it's gentle, it's, it's very good. fruit forward. You don't really need to have food with these wines. Um, again, this is what I was weaned on when I first moved here, barbecue wine. You know, you're not really focusing on what you're eating with it. You're just having, just having it with it. a bit of yeah. food. And that's I guess nice. that's the whole thing that we're really looking for with the wine. Cool. And where's the um, inspiration behind the label? I, that's the mentality in my mind. So I always refer to Australian as a little island floating in the middle of the ocean. As a Canadian, you know, how do you explain where we are? We're an isolated rock floating in the middle of the water. And that's where the imagery of, of this is, is talking about that Dutch chocolate characteristic and the incantation of turning that dark chocolate, Dutch chocolate characteristic into a wine. And that, that's the imagery that was in my head when we sat down with Bianca when we did our new labeling and stuff like that. Yeah, it's really easy to drink, this one. It's dangerous. It is. This is actually where I tend to point all the consumers that I have that come in and look and say, I don't drink a lot of wine. This is one of those first ones that I have them put it in their mouth. I can guide them through the range of what we make to something lighter or more full-bodied, but this is basically that entry point that shows you, you know, the structural elements of real wine. This is real fruit-driven Shiraz. Oh yeah, it does open up. Yeah, so you're getting a lot more of that mocha and secondary character, milk, chocolate, tannin. And that's one of the things too, I guess, when you look at the actual wine, we've actually highlighted three words that we feel represent the flavor profile the taste, the smell of the wines, to keep it simple. It is a bit of a lead, because if I tell you you smell and taste milk chocolate, That's guess what? Old. You're going to yeah. see it. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I mean, Chocolate Factory to me is that moorish bit to it, you know, that puckering acidity at the end that makes you want to have another mouthful, because that's why we put it in one glass. I would even drink this for dessert. If you want to, there's nothing wrong with that. Rich, um, not too rich, but like, it's like a chocolatey. Nice. We've actually paired this with, with some desserts where they actually use more bitter chocolate because this is more of that oh. sweet chocolate, so it sort of kind pairs of off of each other. Yeah. Stewed plums. How much, um, what's the percentage of alcohol? Oh, again, so when we're looking at these in McLaren Vale, for flavor ripeness, since we're making wines, most of the time the fruit ripens around 14, 14.5%. This is 14.5% alcohol. That's pretty much what we get out of McLaren Vale with Shiraz. Our recommended retail is $25 to $30 a bottle. So it's $30 at Cellador. Sometimes in Australia, you'll find it a little bit cheaper.